this weekend on Jay and Joey. So we are going to be doing our coming out stories. Taste the rainbow. My story coming out was very interesting because... Okay, so my coming out story... Hey guys, I'm Jay. I'm Joey. And together we are Jay, Jay and, and Joey. Joey. Uh, so today we are giving our coming out stories. Taste the rainbow. Oh, we tasted the rainbow and we both never went back. That's hot. That's hot. That's hot. That's hot. Well, but one, maybe. one of us didn't start out tasting the rainbow. One of us started out not tasting the rainbow. Yes, you know what yes. I mean. Which, obviously, if you know us already, then you already know who it, who it is. But for the people that don't know, let's keep that a secret. Okay, exactly. People? So I just want to, like I said, welcome you guys back. Um, all the support you've been showing us have been amazing. Please continue to like, comment. subscribe, comment, and um, just keep showing us love. We love it. We love it. So we show us support. Love we got it. this. Okay, so we're going to start out with Joey's story first, and then we're going to get into mine. And we're just going to go back and forth a little bit asking each other questions. And if you guys have any questions about um, our relationship, about our coming out story, or even if you need advice on coming out, hit us up. reach out to us. We're here for you guys. So... Did I say hit us up? Wow, I must be texting too much. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, here we go. Okay, so funny enough, both of us have not shared our That's coming nice. out story with each other. So I'm going to be hearing it for the first time, and he's going to be hearing it for the first yes. time as well. So, Joey... Wow. The world is your oyster. What? My, <laughs> anyway, my story coming out was very interesting because people kind of knew that I was, uh, let's just say not straight, but I just never came out and said it. I guess it started in high school, which is many, many years ago before. Um, what year? I mean, did you know before high school? Did you feel I, different, as they I, say? I would say different because I was like, I wasn't into sports. I wasn't into like, extracurricular. I was more like, even gym. I didn't even freaking want to play gym. What do you mean, a little change for gym? Uh, I was more like, just to sit back, relax, do what I gotta do, and then go home. That I was, was relaxed. You know? <laughs> yeah. I think it was more like 11th grade. Two of my friends who were very close, I was still close to, they already knew. I feel like best friends always know. They knew. But the thing was, in high school, everyone thought I was one of those people who just got all the ladies and just didn't care which newsflash. Wasn't interested. I think after wait, high wait, school. Wait, wait, wait. You got all the ladies no. in high school? <laughs> oh, <laughs> them, I was friends with mostly everyone in high school. So okay. they didn't think I would. Was Hey, buy a little bit more in my car. They just thought I was like a. With, they said I was a ladies man, which. Newsflash. No, I wasn't. But. I guess it was after high school. I, I guess when I was like 18, 19, something like that. I think that was the other one I figured, I figured it out that I was different. I was out there. I was. It was just, I just like having a girl. Like, to be honest, go, go, make a girl find it wasn't really. For me, I told my friends one day, I forgot who I told first, but I told them, and they already knew. They knew, but they were just waiting for me to say it. Because they what didn't do, want... What do feel like they do? How can you ask somebody, oh, are you, without being... I got you, yeah. ...rude and suspectful. Yeah. So, I eventually told them, then, parents, her parents and family, but they already knew. Everyone, pretty much, they were all accepting, they were loving, they didn't care. So you didn't have any backlash at all? No one got no mad one, at you, no like, one? No one? Nobody um, or anything? Not, well, one or two people got backlash. Like, I lost, like, a long-term friend, pretty much, yes. I did. Oh, wow. Yes, that was very... Yeah. Because it was very... I guess he didn't know how to take it, and he, we didn't stop talking for many, many years. Been many Are you two years. reconnected, or...? We tried to, but it's just for, like... Yeah. Like, a guy who had my back in high school now doesn't really... <laughs> you know what? It's better to be happy with yourself and be hiding behind closed doors and you can say my story was pretty simple but 
It sounds simple. It sounds like <laughs> a simple story, but yeah, because everyone already knew it. They just didn't. They they didn't want to ask me, or like they didn't want to like seem disrespectful asking, so they waited for me to say something. Okay. And so I did, and now here I am now, many many years later, and I'm with him. So hey, him. with him, him. Oh, stop it, this hey, one, you know, you know. So yeah, you know, you know. Cool. But yes, what about you, Jim? Wait, wait, let me get a drink for this. If you yeah, might want to turn off the camera. Um, okay. So my story is different than Joey's. I played t-ball. I loved being outside. I played, I didn't play sports for like in high school and stuff, but I liked like running around. I liked sports. I liked football. Yeah. I love hockey. I love baseball. Yes. I'm someone who I'd rather go to a hockey game than a Broadway play, please. Broadway? I, I hate Broadway. I don't think it's Like, I, I'm not that type of person. And Nothing against it, but... My friends know that about me very well. So, I don't want to say I always felt different, but growing up, I always had like an attraction, I would say, to both. But when you're young, you don't know how to express it. Yeah, yeah. So, in high school, I had a girlfriend. Okay, so all of a sudden, everybody goes, "Oh my God!" Wait, you have a girlfriend? Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, oh I, I had a, about that. Okay. I had a girlfriend. Okay? okay. And usually, the first thing everyone says is, "Oh my God, you didn't love her." Oh my God, how was it when you guys were romantic with each other? My answer is, I loved her. My answer is, at that time, I was bisexual, and I wasn't even out that time, but I knew I was attracted to both sexes. Things just didn't work out. And the reason why we yeah. broke up wasn't because of me being bi or anything. Mm -hmm. After that, I believe I came out as gay. <laughs> My mom, who's gonna be mom. watching this video, knows <laughs> how it is. I was very upset, and I forgot what summer it was. I think what? it when I was 20 or 21. Yeah, Where oh, it was, okay. yeah. Where I was just, maybe 2010-ish or something. Many I years ago. Yeah. I was just, I was very confused, and my mom saw it in me that I was just very angry. I was very just, she Sad, knew, she knew something was wrong with me, but she didn't know what, and no one suspected it because I don't really act like it. Maybe I do a little bit on camera just to add a little bit, mm -hmm. but in person, you really can't tell about me. So what happened was, I think I just had enough at that point, and it was the night before my mom had to go back to work. Oh. And I walked into her room and I sat down on the floor next to her like I usually do when I go and chat with her And she knew something was up mm -hmm. and I told her now she didn't get upset Because I came out she got upset because as a mother you worry about your sons being different mm -hmm. And having to deal with people judging your son yeah, judging, judging your, son. your kids because it's already hard out there. And then just based with our community. Babe. Exactly. It's, in our community and then, you know, if you're out there holding your boyfriend's hand or something, people, people look, they judge. And they, they judge you. My dad, I went downstairs and told my dad and my dad was very cool with it. He said, mm -hmm. you know, he always told me and he always still tells me to this day, mm -hmm. just follow your heart. And that's what I did. I started dating. That's a good thing. It's like a good yeah. Follow your heart. Like and that's what I did. And he always told me, whoever you date, you treat with respect. And it doesn't matter. Um, some people didn't take it as easy as I would like them to. Some people in my family. I feel like my, my friends knew as well because, I don't know, I feel like best friends just best know. Best friends already know that five. And then like a day friend, like they know if you're different because you can tell pretty much off the top if yeah. you're different was... And my, yeah, no, my friend Liz, um, Lady Blaze, as I call her, she um, she was always asked, she told me, by other people, is he gay? And she'd be like, no, he has a girlfriend. And they'd be like, eh. And I guess I yeah. told her. But <laughs> well, I wasn't wow. gay at the time. Surprise! <laughs> yeah. But um, I feel like my friend Jackie, um, she knew and stuff. And yeah, from there, I just started being more comfortable with who I am. So I hope you enjoyed our stories. This video, like I said, it's a little more slow. We're not hiking somewhere, we're yeah. not, but we, you know. Bouncing off the wall, whatever Yeah, I think it's important to tell our story. Um, so the next thing we want to do is giving our coming out advice. To people who, who aren't out. Exactly, who aren't out and who want to, because it's all about when you want to come out. Yeah, 
we really can't force someone to come out. Like, yeah. And I would say if, with the advice wise, like if you want to come out, do it on your time. Don't. I'm not gonna say don't wait till it's too late. If you're comfortable, come out. Come out. Like, if I understand if there's family, friends involved, but you should. Um, I would say don't wait. If you need help coming out, ask for it. I don't know. My my advice is just when you're personally ready, you'll know when you want to come out. Um, there's no rush to do it. And the people who really love you and care about you and support you, support. they will be there by your side. And there's a good chance that a few of them already know, probably, let's be honest, because yeah, yeah. your best friends know, no. your family sometimes knows. But like I said, there's no rush. And you just have to be comfortable with yourself. No. And you have to love yourself first and respect yourself first in order to come out. So that's yes. my advice. Well, thank you for all for watching. Um, I hope our stories help you guys with whatever you guys are going through. And I would say like, comment, subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. And like Joey said, you know, we love our subscribers. We love the comments. We literally wake up in the morning. He'll be in his house. I'll be in my house. And we'll just scroll through them and we'll answer and we'll love all of them. Because yes. it really means a lot to us for any support. Yes. So on that note, I'm Jay. I'm Joey. And together we are Jay, Jay and Joey. Joey.